and we're back. Episode 31, is that right? Yeah, that's right, Cam. 31. Keep it going. Day of TV, bro. We in here. We ain't been here in about... You want two weeks? I was, <laughs> I was trying to turn this bitch up real quick with some with some fire. <laughs> but nah, we've been out. We've been out two weeks, and we back in here. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, let me where the hell y'all been these last two weeks? Man, let me show you how we gonna do this, man. Listen, Six where I've been, don't worry about where I've been. <laughs> where have you been, nigga? Because I didn't even know that you left. Hey, right, man. Listen, <laughs> we can get into that. We can get into that. Listen. It's it's. It. Have y'all seen this already? Have they seen this? No, no, no one's seen this. this can they see that shit? I forgot. Yeah, they can see that shit. Can, I they, can they see it now? Yeah, they can see that. What about now? Yup. They can see that too. I mean, it didn't change. That one, I mean. Yup. What about that right there? Oh, here it goes. Can they see that right there? Mm-hmm. Uh huh. Yup. This is a symbol of this shit is real. Stay of TV is official now. <laughs> Whether you niggas like it or not. We got here to stay. That's what it is. I've been on top for a while. <laughs> top for a while. Hey, right, okay. Cam, enough, enough of the enough of the fucking around. Let's get into it, man. Be Simone! No, I'm playing. Hey, <laughs> no, I'm listen. Yo, be Simone. Woo! You had a hell of a couple months, uh a week. mama's weeks, huh? Yeah, really. Yo, how what you do? You one of the people who really don't know that you sound stupid? <laughs> Yo, it's people like that. Oh, I know. I know. I'm, I'm really. Do you know people like that personally, though? Yes. I fucking meet, we'll meet up with a couple of them niggas every Tuesday. Nigga, like that Wednesday. So I'm like, she one of them niggas who just don't even know she sound fucking stupid. You hear her the... I don't even remember why I wrote her name down. What did B. Simone do? Well, initially, she came out with the whole goddamn it, uh, what she did before she got into the lawsuit shit. Oh, she was talking oh, about the, the, the protesters and shit. Nah. No, she did a lot of things. First, it started with the protesters. She said that y'all need to stop protesting these oh, bills. Oh, she Banks shit? Yeah. Well, yeah, we talked about that, though. Mm-hmm. We talked about the whole And then, boom, she backdoored 9 to five. Said, no, I wouldn't do the 9 to 5. Yeah. And then she backdoored lawsuit for the book yeah. and then she backdoored and oh, she did some bullshit after that yeah then oh, she wow. backdoored and said the lgbt lettuce bacon and tomato community or something like that yes bro i was like oh, man yeah, be some more. you just don't want a career bro she said the lettuce bacon and tomato community hey hey she dug in bro she knows she can't play like that bro. you can't play with that community you like that them, bro you hey play, hey I didn't know that part. That's that's funny. Yeah. That's, that's point, that's <laughs> point, Simone is on a roll out here, bro. Yeah, so let's break it down one more time. She said something. I forgot what she said. Like, y'all stop riding or some shit like that. Niggas ain't want to hear it, though. And then she back, though, said, um, what she say? What was the second thing? Nine yeah, to five. Yeah. Back, though, got sued for ripping the book off. Yeah. And then back, though, and got, um, I forgot the last thing again. Then you were talking about the... the oh, yeah. and then she said lettuce, bacon, and tomatoes. Now, my thing is this, though. What, what, the same way how you, when Key and Peele said the F word on there, right after they said the N word 30 times and you didn't say nothing of it, and then right when they said the F word, you were like, oh, no, they would have been canceled. Why is why is it if you offend the, the gay community, your ass is out of here. If you <laughs> offend the black community, it's just like, mm. Well... You know why? Like, no, I don't. I'm asking <laughs> we you. don't have no like. You know what I'm saying? Like, we. I guess the the gay community holds society to a different standard than society. The black community is held to. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, you ain't you ain't just finna say shit about, <laughs> about the gay community nowhere. And they gonna, put on the line, Cam. Yeah, they gonna they gonna come back on it. They gonna come back with it. Whereas you know, like the word nigga, for example, like people say that shit on regular TV. All the time, but that shit, nah, that shit wasn't going. <laughs> <laughs> that kid say that. That kid feel shit ain't going. It, it used to back in the day when back when back when the, the gay shit was more like you know like less in the public eye than it is today. Like today, they trying to make Disney princesses. Like you know, I love uh, gay people. Yeah, I got I got gay partners and cousins. 
That don't mean nothing to him. <laughs> I, I mean, I, why can't you I, just I, say I, what I said? I talk to him though. Like, I don't talk to him <laughs> like, like like they different people and those shit. I'm not homophobic and those shit like that. I'm okay. Like, why can't you just say I love gay people? Well, yeah. like that's just a real general statement. Like, what makes you homophobic? I feel like if you homophobic, if you get like you does that help? Does yeah. homophobic make you aggressive towards them or? You just don't like the no, but you, but I do love gay people though. Gay people cool as that. I just keep saying that so so they cancel y'all bitch asses and not me. Like, I listen, hey, transgenders, all right with me. I don't give a fuck what you want to be honest, because it's it's it's, it's, a, it's sexuality, bro. Like it don't make you who you are. What if they come at you? Kind of does. Then does it matter? What if they come at me? Yeah, I'm gonna respectfully decline. <laughs> like the best way that I can. I do it same way I do a female if I want. You know what I'm saying? Nah, Jordan don't do it. Who? Jordan. Who is Jordan? My brother. Oh, what is he like? don't decline females. <laughs> All they gotta do is she grab his meat. <laughs> <laughs> and it's go time. It's, go time. <laughs> it's time to get it. Okay. F uh B Simone, idiot. Uh NASCAR nigga. Okay. Cam, you, you keep it up with the Bubba Wallace NASCAR story? You got uh, no choice to if you watch sports. All I've heard from about that is they let the noose somewhere by him. All right, let me write, let me break it all the way down for you, cool cats and kittens. Yeah, I didn't get that right. Speaking of noose, did you see the um, story about here in Walden where someone tied a, a black doll to a tree and like had it hanging or some shit? And, like people were taking pictures of it. My thing, they, like, with, this, my thing with this, this reminds me of, and this is going back to middle school camp, but this reminds me of, of, of a cat when he was. <laughs> stand up when the cat wings was talking about how like that like I don't feel like that shit is scaring us bro like that reminds me because can remember cat was talking about how he was like niggas don't go put bullets on the block and be like wait till these niggas see this shit <laughs> <laughs> like you know what I'm saying like, like, what's so bad like, you know what I'm saying like, like what if, that shit ain't scaring nobody bro like Y'all just, I feel like that's just like some troll shit because they see that y'all wasn't doing that shit before we start protesting. Yeah, yeah. So y'all just, y'all just trying to, you know, that's the whole reason that the whole whatever they call them, left wing people, whatever the fuck they call them, people. Don't get political, Cam. Don't get political. <laughs> I, hey, I, I saw that term on, on the news. So, so, it's, so, it's, so it's <laughs> a real <laughs> term. Huh? Well, it, people understand it. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The left wing rap. That's what they call them. <laughs> shit. So. You know what I'm saying? That's that's they trying to scare folks, bro. Ain't nobody scared of this shit. Man, anyway, like I said <laughs> before I was interrupted. That's a great story though, fellas. <laughs> um Bubba Wallace is a black NASCAR driver. Okay, now in the last couple months, Bubba Wallace has been organizing all the um uh other NASCAR drivers to to, you know, get together so they can get rid of the Confederate flag in NASCAR because they they rock the Confederate flag in NASCAR like the NFL rock the the shield. You know what I'm no saying? Cap. Like that's like that's they love shit. that thing. That's 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 that. So boom, he trying to get rid of it because you know the Confederacy only lasted four years. But four niggas, of them. yeah, niggas rocking that shit like it was the and they lost. <laughs> <laughs> they say it's deeper than that. They say the flag is. They just trying to make it seem like. It's well, how how can it be deeper than what deeper literally than happened? Um, I mean, that's just what I've heard. They, they, a heritage bro, they, thing or something. Or something. Bro, that's what, like, Kevin, that was not the Confederacy that long, bro. We got the ass up out of here. <laughs> but yeah. the North won. And then they became us again. Nigga, you were traitors. <laughs> Why is that celebrated? Y'all was trying to leave the whole United States because y'all wanted slaves that bad, bro. Y'all was like, no. Hell no, hell no. Yeah, I right. am not plowing no grass. You know what's crazy? That nigga <laughs> Trader uh, showed me some shit today about some some some, oh. some land that he had. Mm -hmm. and he was looking at it. nigga. You can look on the, what the fuck. You can look on the internet and it'll show you like because some some slaves had owned the land that he was looking at. But like I mean not some slave owners had owned the land way back in the day. You know what I'm saying? You can look up on the internet of all the purchases that this man purchased and all of the slaves that he purchased is on the internet. They names. And their ages, nigga. Uh, but this is the thing you people gotta remember about, <laughs> uh, gotta know about slaves. Every white person didn't, ha couldn't have slaves. Like you had to, 
you got to take care of all them people. Yeah, you got you really have to have money to have slaves. Yeah, you got to be out here to yeah. be able to even house yeah. and take care and feed all them slaves. Because owning a slave back then was like owning a dog, basically. Like, yeah, you know? well, not even less than that. Pretty much. They used the dogs to go get your ass. Yeah. They're not taking you to go find their dogs. So it's like... They get another dog. No, nah, but that shit was crazy. He, he showed me that shit. Like, all these names. I'm talking about it was babies on there. One years old, two years old, zero years old, three years old. And then it was grown people, 35, 40. I'm like, that shit is crazy. Yeah, they was, <laughs> it, was, it was zero year old babies. Like, for real though. Like, that's what Slave it is. babies. Like, months old. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, that's, that's crazy. So, yeah, it's deeply enrooted into it. And, you know, basically, Bubba Wallace tried to get rid of it. Now, boom. Um... Um, they just had a race last week, right? And Bubba Wallace was in the race. And before the race, NASCAR got rid of the flag. They said no more Confederate flag and all of that. But before the race, all the fans was outside swinging around with Confederate flags. I think they flew a Confederate flag over the stadium, and then they flew some. They 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 flew something that was like defund NASCAR or something like that. Yeah. Basically, just mocking everything. And then after the race, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, I might have this timeline a little wrong. But after the race, uh, it was brought to light that there was a noose found in Bubba Wallace's garage, who's yeah. one of the only black drivers I've ever heard of in my life. I never heard of a black NASCAR driver. Me neither. I didn't even it's know. a, it's a, it's a, it's a financial gap, bro. The reason, same reason you don't hear about, you know, black golf players and tennis players and like how many black people you know with the golf club membership you gotta have money to even get into the golf yeah. you gotta stay in the nice neighborhood that the golf club membership is even in you know what i'm saying like yeah. it's a yeah them country clubs ain't no joke yeah you know what i'm saying it's just it's a different and then mm -hmm. the country clubs bro golf is one of the racist sports bro i watched the documentary about how it's Yo, golf is mad racist bro. I mean, it's, that's a sport that's dominated by like but it's crazy because we got tiger and Tiger. so is it really dominated by you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because the coldest nigga to do it is black. So boom, but, listen. So right after the race, I think they find a noose hanging up in Bubba Wallace's garage. They call the FBI. They put out a statement. They say, yeah. First, first of all, you probably know this already if you're watching this. Two people who watch it. Um, mm. but. Basically, Bubba Wallace was like, man, I ain't scared of y'all, nigga, y'all got me messed up. But then the FBI come in and was like, oh, no, that news been there. And everybody was like, all the black people, all the white people was like, Tuh. thank the God nobody just put that noose in there just now. Mm -hmm. And all the black people are like, that news been there? And y'all think that's I like know. an exceptional, uh, <laughs> accept, acceptable answer? That's what I'm, that's what that I'm it, They're like, oh no, it's been there since October. Okay, well check every garage that NASCAR has. And they did. Ever. And guess what they found, <laughs> Kevin? 11 ropes tied, right? Guess how many nooses? One! And it's the one in Bubba Garage, Wallace Garage. Out of all the hundreds and hundreds of garages they have, they found only 11 ropes used, and out of those 11 ropes, one of them was tied like a noose, and it so happens to be in the black driver's garage who took a stand against the Confederate flag. Um, what are the chances? That's you know what I'm saying, bro. They just trying to what make, are the odds? It seems like they're just trolling, but that's what I say. Like, they just, why would we start trying to, you know, make get a movement going for black folks, bro? Here come, like, like, <laughs> Time. Duh. <laughs> Ruining everything. Like, what do these niggas think they're doing? Are you uh, <laughs> trying to have fun, bro? Like, okay. What's next, Cam? Next. Well, I mean, we can segue right into it. Black Lives Matter. Hey. <laughs> Black Lives Matter. Yo, I read somewhere yesterday that in Kentucky, I think, they've been having, yesterday was like the 31st day in a row of protesting. Bro. So the protest ain't stopped. And in Denver, when I was out there, like, yo, them niggas ain't playing. <laughs> yeah, the protest and ain't stopped. <laughs> Bro, and we just drove, like. Oh, you was out? You went up to Aurora? No, I was in Denver. Why did you go by Aurora? I know that's right by Denver. Yeah, I think we passed through it. I don't think we stopped there, though. Because they cutting up in Aurora. That's, yeah, that's where Elijah McCain got killed. They yeah, ain't fucking around in Denver, bro. Yo. Like, we, we made, we was turning, and we thought. They was homeless because everybody was outside, like camping and shit. And we made a fucking right 
And we looked to our left and there was like 500 people, <laughs> like in camps. People got uh, trash can fires going. I'm like, oh, y'all niggas ain't playing. Like, I mean, even, we saw the street, they say Black Lives Matter on the street where they printed it or whatever. I'm like, yeah, you what is, Was it some bitches? Uh, it's, a lot of, it's a lot of the Caucasian sort in, uh, in Denver, Colorado. Palm colored? Yeah, a lot of those. What they call them on, 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 on Black Panther colonizers? <laughs> yeah, colonizers. No, 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 capital. It's a lot of white people in Denver, bro. Like, I've been there. Like, for real. Like, and it was. That's what I said. But they, they show love, though. No, right? Hell yeah. They show love, but they love y'all. It was like, cool as hell. I was like, bro, it's a lot of white people. They cool, they cool as hell out there. <laughs> they that's cool what I'm saying. Love, that's, exactly, that's exactly what I thought. Like, we didn't like, get wow, them, a whole lot of y'all, but y'all are very cool. Cool in the bitch. We didn't get them vibes. Like, when we walked in, the, like, we went to 80 Cracker Barrel. You know what I'm saying? We first. Ooh, that is fucking crazy. Y'all niggas chose Cracker Barrel to eat in Denver? Well, that's the first place we've seen when we got there. We was hungry as hell. We got there like in the morning. So Yo, like talk, Cracker Barrel is hands down. I never... A Cracker Barrel, you walk in there and instantly can feel all your ancestors yeah. <laughs> trying to pull okay. you out of that bitch. You're like, <laughs> like, they're like, so, please, God, no, don't walk like, in there. Like, we walked in, I was All like, that shit on the wall, they used to beat the shit out of us with it. Yeah, like, we, we walk in, you could, like, you definitely be like, alright, nigga, we in Cracker Barrel. So you've never been into a Cracker Barrel? Let me just, let me tell you this. When I ran track for PV for four years, we went to Cracker Barrel before every goddamn track meet. We're a black <laughs> school. We walk in our black asses in there 60 deep every yeah, nah, Saturday morning to mm-hmm. old white people looking at us crazy as hell. And they find the one, they find Tristan, Kevin, and then they be like, hey, are y'all a basketball team? And then Tristan be the... Somehow, Tristan be the only person talking to the people inside of the, the Cracker Barrel. Like, okay, of sure. Course. <laughs> sure, you, you scrap. <laughs> no, I don't. You know, like, people gonna look for the... They look like the white nigga. I thought it was none of you. gonna be the representative. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, the ambassador. <laughs> <laughs> I say, boy, boy, boy. But nah, we didn't even get the type of vibes we walked in there. Like, it was like hella friendly. It was a nice Cracker Barrel? Yeah. Oh, God. Well, what's even worse, they'd be back here working at Cracker Barrel. I still feel like that. Yeah, yeah. for real. Cause Cause the first time I ever went to Cracker Barrel was This Cracker Barrel right here, man. I, I never got that vibe. No. That, that man, cool. you gotta remember that shit on the wall, bro. Yeah, that's just, you, if you look at this shit on the wall, you, you definitely gonna get scared as hell. You're gonna be like, hey, yo. what is that shit, bro? <laughs> and why is it celebrated? You're gonna be like, hey, that, that shit. Those looks- are torture tools, bro. <laughs> Up on the wall, just pass it around. I'm like, these niggas look like. I'm just saying, cause you know, white folks' ancestors are just never just be the coolest niggas. Never. <laughs> like, you know what So I'm when saying? you look at all that antique white shit, you be like, mm, that shit looks stolen. Mighty slavish. <laughs> That's how that's the vibes I get. Even when I look at old houses, bro, yeah, some of the just like, the vibes they give me, I'm like, Ugh, yeah, I would you can see the plantation. I don't like it. I don't like it. I feel crazy. I feel like we said our schools was built after plantations, bro. What schools? Our schools. A uh, Summer Creek. Summer Creek and Tattoo, because you know they basically the same looking school. And plantations. They, yeah, bro. They said that a tattoo is a tattoo model, and they actually put a picture of a tattoo high school in still of this plantation. It was basically the same shit. Like <laughs> you know, PV was a plantation. John B. Coleman High School, uh, John B. Coleman Library was the master's home. Well, that's what they say. Because if you own John B. Coleman Library, you can see. Well, not because I, now all the buildings in the way, but before you could see everything at PV from up on the lot. The library is on the hill. That's why they call it the hill. The library is on the hill. You can see everything from that hill. So that's where they say the master's house was. He used to stand out there and just. Look for motherfuckers fucking up. <laughs> <laughs> and just, yeah, just ima- okay, but so imagine Paul Paul, you know what I'm saying? Coming outside, grumpy as shit for no reason. Just looking for a nigga to beat the sh- brakes off of and <clears> throw <throat> it. Yo, now I don't even want to talk about it. Bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, listen, I'm going to say this. I read an article about incest and slavery, and all I got to say is, yo, that shit. It's crazy, and we don't know where we came from, bro. And they was having, they was like, it'd be a, a woman, she'd be a strong woman, and they'll make her, like, she'll have kids, and her son will be 6'4", and really strong, and then guess what? Mama, you having a baby with your son. And then when that son grow up to be 6'4", and strong, we know that she's nice, so we're just going to keep pushing this breed, and they're just going to keep pushing out huge babies, and that's just how the stuff was going on back in the day. They was making... They was making super athletes 
which is how we ended up with people like LeBron. Like, why is it only like a few LeBrons, yo? Because they used to experiment on black people and just make black people, bro. <laughs> I swear to God, they just made us. Like, they would take the biggest and strongest of us and and made them like dogs, bro. It's like, it's, they didn't have they they could they could do it, bro. Like. You know what I'm saying? They can do whatever they want with us. And that just, that's just sick because it's just like, yo, you don't know. We don't know who our grip. We don't know who we can. We could can. We could be. If we go back to like the slave times, bro, our, our, our great, great, great grandpas could have been brothers. They just dropped your grandpa off in Haiti and they took my grandpa to Texas and then we, they were brothers the whole time. We don't even know it. We no walked around, went to school together. It's just stuff no like idea. that. Imagine no how idea. much that happens. Yeah, and that's and that me matter of fact, me and Trevor were literally just talking about that shit earlier. We was like, bro, like white people can go look they they whole lineage up. We don't know where the hell like, we're from. To the we got to We just out here just like because he was Hopefully talking about matter of fact, the plantation that he was, that the, the land that was on, he was looking at was the Mills plantation. So all these different people, they all had white people names. Sarah, like Duh, Billy, nigga, you all these said slaves. It. You know what I'm saying? But they all got the same last name because of the plantation they come from, Mills. So yeah. it's just like, and that's why that's that's why you're talking about how that's why Malcolm X changed his last name because right. like you know what I'm saying. We just our last name just come from whatever plantation we from. You know, it's just like which is some bullshit. These bitch is. ass niggas named them and named us after them like they kids. Like, <laughs> and now I'm still Washington to this day. <laughs> so I, just, I got two last names, not only one. I got two slave niggas up in heaven. Like, haha. <laughs> Or not even in heaven. Fuck them niggas. Anyway, <laughs> let's keep going. Yo, listen. You know they wasn't making the, the son just to have sex with his mama, have another baby. And then that kid's gonna have sex with his mama. Like and human her. beings. That's like your mama slash grandma, bro. <laughs> like it was like human beings to this shit. That's crazy, bro. Like they was some they was some sick motherfuckers. Especially because this was like the thing to do. Like this was Widely accepted, and nobody was stopping them. <laughs> yeah, no, everybody was like, "Yeah, this everybody is, was this on is their actually a, a part of our economy." Yo, I saw you know a saying? postcard. I saw a postcard when they just had a bunch of kids acting like they was hanging a little black boy, a little black boy standing there smiling with a noose around his neck, posing for the like. That's why and it, it was from back. I'm like, yo, that's, that's, that's why. They don't even, that, these, this shit is crazy. They used to just really hang yeah, out black bro, asses like, for fun. Like we, like we was a people. We really for fun, we like bro. People, bro. That is, people. yo, that's crazy. But um. <laughs> Yo, that is nuts, bro. That that was not that long ago. Yeah, too years. That picture I said was a postcard, yo. <laughs> that mean like they were sending mail. So it's like that's why. <laughs> How long ago could that have been? Why people would be not understanding why we be so mad, bro? I'm like, yo, that crazy. shit is. In the same way a bird know how to fly south in the winter, we know how to feel uncomfortable when some shit ain't right. Yeah, nigga, like we, on, got, nigga. we got something just in us, like that shit. Is like we got like some bullshit, bro. From that shit, bro. Yeah, I'm telling like, you, for real. Like, telling you, no gener- way you can, no way you don't, bro. Generational PTSD. No way you can't have. It's the whole reason. generational stuff like that. It's literally in your blood, bro. The same way the, a freaking the same way white people with the with the Confederate flag. It's in their blood. So that's why they feel like that flag. But no, that's is, not in their blood, bro. They forced but, that shit. But they they but it's in their slavery is like, in our blood. We were slaves for. 250 years. No, they was the Confederacy for, you know, uh, what, all of 800 days, bro? Man, but them folks was getting, they was making money off of us, bro. So that's that's why they they really feel like, like, they, they was they making money off us before and after the Confederacy. That's what I'm saying. They ancestors, like, engraved this in them, like, we better than them, and don't let nobody tell you different. So they gonna tell their kids that, and they gonna tell their kids that, and so forth. And then and my kids gonna beat your kids' ass, I mean, and, then, and your head. son is gonna be really confused. Like, <laughs> I thought my daddy said we was better than them. He just you know stomped say, my fucking what, face in the dirt. Don't feel I'm much very better confused. Than him. I don't feel much better than him. Yeah, I don't feel better than him. And yeah. like, you know, what I'm saying he's just way cooler than me. <laughs> he has more rhythm. Like he's All better at sports. Like <laughs> All the girls like him. He can jump higher. Hair, like, what 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 exactly am I better at him man? <laughs> but uh, whatever. Okay, now we're being racist. Not necessarily. I know he's not. I was guessing. Anyway, <laughs> let's move on. Let's, let's keep going. Let's keep going. <laughs> Kyrie Irving, man. Kyrie, I, I feel you. If nobody feel you, I feel you, bro. If you take LeBron James by himself, LeBron James can come over here, pick me, you, and Kevin up, right, Cam? And we can stop on the way, pick Jordan up. We can go to the gym. And five million people will watch that on ESPN just because it's LeBron. 
the point is, y'all are the, the brand, bro. The NBA is not the brand. Y'all are the brand, bro. Mm -hmm. People making it. I saw Tobias Harris say, man, we can't let this happen to our league, and we can't let this happen to the NBA. We need to play so we can fight for our league. Man, if the NBA leaves, start another one. Like, you literally talking about 500 million and billionaires, bro. Y'all can't put y'all freaking heads together and start a league. Y'all don't even need a, a lot, bro. It's going to come to y'all. If Let's say, like I just said, let's say LeBron get a just group of five people and say, we out of the league. We playing at Lifetime Fitness every Tuesday. You don't think ESPN or BA Black Asses at Lifetime Fitness care. recording that shit? He gonna, they going to get the same amount of people watching it. Next thing you know, they can fill our stadiums. And if shit. LeBron, first thing yeah. you know, they're making the same NBA money without the owners. If LeBron, because all it is is TV contract. That TV makes, contracts, that, that bro. Believe, it's literally bro. ad. Because if ESPN, it's just ads. FSN, all these other sports networks rip their contracts from the NBA, the NBA is going to be the WNBA at that point. Fact. So if Le, if LeBron leave, talk your shit. If LeBron leave, it's over with. All other players are going to have to leave because they know the NBA. If LeBron is still in his prime, which to me he kind of still is. You know what I'm saying? Like LeBron leave, you know how many people going with they, him? They going with him. If LeBron, if LeBron and Steph go, it's over. Like it's over with. Because Giannis gonna come after that. Then Kawhi gonna come. James. James Harden gonna come. Then Russ gonna come. Kyrie. It's over with. KD. A league with them. Once them guys are gone, it's over with. It's that's over. the new league. Wherever they go is what we watching. If all of them go to the WNBA, John guess what we'll start watching. Oh, oh God. It's <laughs> not like the WNBA. It's not your brand, bro. It's it's I, it's it's. It's the athletes in basketball, yeah. bro. Yeah. People are going to watch who they want to watch who, bro. Simple. Yeah. That's just how that goes. Yeah, that's just how it yeah, goes. Like, LeBron, he he has the most power in the league to me. Because, like, <laughs> yeah, he is the most important player in the league. Like, for real, for real. Yeah, I think, I think y'all could definitely start your own league. Yeah. If y'all really. I think if there was a sport to do it. I think if there was a sport that could actually really do it, it would be the NBA because y'all got so much. They got so much power. Oh, yeah, as a, not even to one. mention the money that y'all boys yeah. be touching with these contracts, bro. These super max, two hundred million. What, it's only what eleven players, fifteen players on an NBA team, and that's NBA rules. Yeah, like y'all can, can start your own league with yeah, eight players. Go get your partners from goddamn childhoods who know you no code. I'm telling you. <laughs> They don't see that kid like Look at look, look at what happened when them niggas was playing football, bro. When they was playing seven on seven, LeBron and them, and when they doing the lockout and shit. Man, niggas was watching that shit, bro. Yeah. And niggas was playing football, bro. Bro, Tim, LeBron has the most the, the most viewed thing that's ever came on ESPN that wasn't a basketball game was LeBron saying that I'm leaving Cleveland to go to Miami. I'm telling you, ten million people watch that live. Only five billion people a week tuned in to the Last Dance, just to give you a reference. <laughs> LeBron is huge, bro. Yeah, LeBron has he, pause. He yeah. <laughs> he probably got more more power in, or influence than than any player I've ever. Seen. But listen, Bron, like Shannon Sharp said, Bron didn't even know he had that much power until he made that move to Miami and watched everybody hang on every word he said, and then watched the whole NBA switch to do everything exactly how he did. Now he like, oh, I got power like that. Well, hold on, let me fire my manager and bring in my homeboys. Yeah. And boom, now look at his homeboys. They all billionaires. Yeah. He like, hold on, let me see what else I can do. Let me see if I can on top of the fact that he draft to niggas out of this league for my own team. Next thing you know, he getting LeBron, Anthony Davis to bro, come. To, LeBron could go start his own yo, league. Yo, LeBron is slick, He bro. could go start his own league, be the commissioner, and play in it. He can be like, semi, on some, on semi pro shit. Yeah. What's what's the name of that? Uh, that is a, that's not semi pro. Nigga, for real. He what's the name of that team? Shit. No, Tropic Thunder. Ja Jackie Battle. Jackie Moon. I thought. Because if all the superstars leave, it's, it's not gonna be watchable. We're not gonna go out here and watch JJ Reddick. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> JJ leaving too. He ain't got here. Got here. I can't even think of who would stay if all the stars leave. Man, some bitch ass nigga like Ben Simmons. He can stay. <laughs> Fuck out of here, Ben. They ain't gonna leave too, because Joe leaving. All right, well, Kyrie, I'm with you, bro. Okay? I'm, I'm fucking with it. Actually, I would like to see it, honestly. It same. Was, I would like to see that, bro. I like I said like again, Ice Cube did. The same it. reason. The same Ice Cube ain't got more money than all of you fucking rich ass NBA players, bro. I don't want to hear it. And he don't like basketball more than y'all. Because So play. make it work. And in the same way that niggas is, um, that niggas is, they're talking about new college athletes gonna start leaving them schools and going to HBCUs. I would love to see that. I would like to see that. I would absolutely die to see that happen. I would love to see that because the problem like, is, though, <laughs> with that, 
is it's gonna be a slow process because yeah, definitely, cause it's gonna take some yeah. it's gonna take some kids to kind of sacrifice a few things to make it good for the next generation. The, so for example, yeah. if Leonard Fournette came to PV, Leonard ain't gonna reap all the benefits that he's gonna bring to PV. It's the kids at the PV kids right now, yeah. they gonna be getting all the shit that Leonard set up for them. So it would you know take, that, would, that would literally take the generation right yeah, now. Yeah, it would so. take us to yeah. start it. We might not get out, we might not get to get to $1,200 a month or, or whatever they give stipends and take plain private jets all around the that's country. The, that's the but that's the if difference. we start promoting yeah. this more and more, then maybe your son can. Yeah, maybe yeah. your son can fly a private jet yeah. at PV if, you know what I'm saying, if you decide to go to PV. The now. HBCUs would, would be like it, they would be, Bama. They would be like them huge. Why do you think Bama like, is Bama, bro? They stole they all the kids from the HBC. Listen, mm -hmm. let me give y'all a history lesson, bro. That's This is just common sense, bro. You don't even got to look nothing up to follow this along. Mm. Okay, y'all know what segregation is, right? Black people and white people wasn't allowed at the same schools, right? So how did all these black people end up at all these goddamn yeah. white schools like Alabama and all of that to make them who they are? The, the, they had to go get them niggas and offer them better shit that they know that them niggas didn't have. Mm -hmm. And that's also part of you know, and now you have them same niggas that are looked down on HBCUs because, you know, they gave them a piece of their pie. They feel like they wanted them now. And now they're they looking at us they, a little different. Like, they, y go, like, they go to the school and be white girls. Like, and, then, <laughs> and now guess where, guess where they family so, generation money go to? Be that family. white girls family. Which is, if that's what you do, that's what you do. But just yeah. know what you're doing. But it's part of the, it's part of that system. Though. Yeah, it's definitely a system, play, bro. That, that plays into it because they know these athletes going to come to these schools and the only black people they're going to see is their teammates. Everybody else <laughs> is going to be white. So we're getting everything we want out of them. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? We're like, getting black kids that are going to be really good at sports. Like, you can't... <laughs> we're getting yeah. money. Money? Like, we're getting our mixed kid, like everything. Like, they, it all, bro. They, they, yeah. It's a system. Dog. You, you, are you crazy? But I feel system, this though. When I saw somebody was like, "Yo, man, we're not leaving. We're not leaving an area that's not made for us to go somewhere else. We're gonna make an area for us at our schools." I feel that logic, but you can blow that area up not, hypothetically mm -hmm. or not literally. But take a and for example, bro. We can make that school obsolete as black people, especially in Texas. Yeah. If all, if let's just imagine, let's take it on a much smaller scale, Cam. Imagine all the black athletes that you knew growing up. Imagine if we all decided to go to one 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 college. She. She. <laughs> any, any, any fucking college. Name yeah. the one. It don't matter. Yeah. We just turned that bitch turn up. that bitch all the way. Simple. <laughs> Simple as that. So if black people just knew that yeah. it ain't A and M, bro, it ain't U T. That's okay. that's making that's doing all of this, bro. It's 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 look at the how many what percentage of of, of athlete professional athletes are black in football and basketball? It's it's gotta like be in the 90s. eighty. It's gotta be in the 90s. 90s. 80, 90 percent. You take ninety percent of y'all away. What do y'all think happens to these? To these institutions, these schools, it's these older. sports, these programs, and then especially in the NFL, it's like NFL is having to like really push this Black Lives Matter shit right now because they are in a time where all of their best players are all black, and even the quarterbacks, which is the he, which is where I started actually seeing because you know you see that all the NFL players made that video mm -hmm. with the Black Lives Matter thing, and mm -hmm. Roger Goodell said he had to hurry up and make a move because Patrick Mahomes is in the video. That's the face of your league right now, and he black. Like, you know what I'm saying? But even not just him, Russell Wilson. If I'm Roger Goodell, why like, would I say that out loud? He, he, why would he I say that. that out loud? He because that's so, that. you mean to tell me that you wasn't going to make a move until you seen Patrick? He did Mom, say that. That's the problem. He that's the problem, too. Cam. You got to read. Hey, look, I watched Malcolm X the other day. <laughs> and he, what they were saying on there is, man, you got to hear the truth behind the words, man. Don't just listen to what they say. Yeah, nigga did say look that. at the and truth behind the words. Too. Cam, so like, listen, you mean to tell me it took the mixed, light-skinned nigga that's half-white for you to understand, for you to make a message back? Because With all these niggas saying what they had to say, yeah. you didn't feel nothing. As soon as Pat man, Mahomes said something, now all, all of a sudden, I have to hurry up and make a statement. That's what that man said. Yo, I would have never said that out loud. Roger, you... That's 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 like I was listen, like, read between the lines on that, Cam. That's what that man said. Why wasn't Lamar why wasn't Lamar Jackson and Deshaun Watson good enough? <laughs> why he had to <laughs> why yeah. Pat Mahomes had to be the one to say it? Well it was because Mahomes MVP, Super Bowl MVP, yeah, all that other shit. 
But I feel what you're saying though. Like, because all these niggas were saying the same shit. Michael Thomas, Alvin Kamara, all these niggas were saying Michael Thomas is Offensive Player of the Year. Like, you know, you know what I'm saying? saying? Broke all the records. He just is, is I ain't say just as popping as Pat Mahomes, but he in that. From based off last superstar. year, he, he just is popping. Yeah. yeah, he a superstar. So you should have heeded what he had to say. But that's what, that's, that's what Lamar he Jackson was won MVP last year. <laughs> Literally was the probably the best player in the league all season, bro. Yeah. yeah. Listen to what he got to say. So that's, that's what, that's what but we're gonna wait till the mix nigga say something. I don't know if I'm <laughs> if I'm reaching, bro, but. I literally cannot make that up. That's literally what happened, bro, yeah, right? Like, he literally ignored all these niggas and waited till... And, and then bro. he came out and told us, yo, whoa, when Pat Mahomes like, says something, real, I had to it make it. It was, it was, it was Come on, bro. nature of like when, when Mahomes got into the mix, he was like, Hey, right. that is nuts. I would have never said that. <laughs> okay, now let's get into the scary news of the week. We're skipping the BET Awards. If y'all watch the BET Awards and want to talk about it, talk about it with your fucking friends because I ain't watched this shit. Okay, <laughs> now that's 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 the BET award talk. Um, okay, let me not do BET awards like that. The reason I didn't watch the BET awards is because I don't watch any award show. I don't want y'all to think that that I'm doing the BET award show dirty just because that's the cool thing to do. I don't watch award shows, so fuck all of them hoes, including the BET awards. Um, but I noticed a lot of black people watch all award shows and then be like, fuck the BT Awards. And I'm like, niggas, of course they don't watch the one thing that's kind of, kind of for you even a little bit. I mean, <laughs> like, let me, but, but I don't watch none of them. So whatever. I don't watch none of the award shows either. I don't watch cable TV. So there's that. Um, okay. now let's get into the scary news, Cam. Now this is weird, bro. I don't understand this shit. Cam, Cam, how much time we got? You got about 30 minutes. Woo! We got a lot of time. Yeah. This is weird. I don't even understand. I, I, <laughs> okay, let's do Dion versus Jerry. <laughs> I can't even get into it right now, Cam. Let's run through Dion versus Jerry real quick. And then let's go back to it. Okay, for all you uh, football heads out there. If you, if you know, you know, bro. And if you don't know, I'm finna tell you. Jerry Rice is... Arguably the best football player to have ever lived. The numbers say it. The stats say it. The highlights say it. The film say it. The teammates say it. The opponents say it. The world say it. The everybody say it. Top two. Right? Okay. Okay. Deion Sanders. Possibly... Some people make a debate about it, but I give it to them. The best cornerback of all time. Some people argue other people a little before him. Some people say Revis could have did whatever, whatever. They both the best at their position. My point is this. Cam said Deion Sanders was better than Jerry Rice. My point is this. Deion Sanders and Jerry Rice are both the best at what they do. But Jerry Rice is so far ahead of everybody else who played his position that it's not the same. And when it comes to who's better between them two, yo, Jerry is better than him, bro. I don't know. I hate to. I know. I, they, and they went on. I know. And they, when they matched up one on one, I couldn't find their stats on the internet. Like the stats yo, when they first time they matched up one on one, Jerry went for eight for two twenty five. And then the second game, like six weeks later, he went for 13 for like 273. But, <laughs> hey, whatever, right? I don't know. I don't know. Cam, how do you get Carter from 8 for two, 213? Well, you got, you got how do you go for 8 catch 213 and be like, and I got something for his ass next time? They didn't, they, didn't, they didn't match up every single play like they, like they do nowadays. For one, in that, it don't matter. My right point there. is, that's not my, I'm not trying to say that's why he better. <laughs> I didn't even bring that up. You know what I'm saying? Because you could, because. And that's a lot of this. You could throw that up. My point is this: Jerry is known as and Jerry is known as one. Of, is is probably known as a lot of people well, call him the best football player ever. Yeah. I don't really hear Dion get called the best football well, player because, ever. So I don't think that you can say Dion is better than Jerry when Jerry is like literally like on the is literally top. He, no, he Jerry, got, bro. He got voted as the greatest football player. Bro. You feel me? Jerry Rice. That's what I'm he's saying. The, I know the top 100 players of all time. He was number one. But the only reason I'm saying that Jerry is 
is not the greatest football player ever is because I feel like another receiver in his position could have done could have done the same thing. Like if Calvin Johnson played on that team, he would have done the same shit. If Randy Moss played on that team with Joe Montana, he would have put up the same. So number. who's the greatest? Who's the greatest? Tom Brady. The greatest football player in my yeah. eyes, Tom Brady. So if Aaron Rodgers was in that team, you don't think he could have did that same shit? I know. I don't think so. I know so, nigga. I know for a fact Drew Brees would have six, seven rings if he was in that system. I don't think so. I know for a fact Aaron Rodgers would have six, seven rings if he was in that position. In the weakest fucking division in the league where you go into the playoffs guaranteed every year with a home buy. Uh, every mean, year because the fucking Bills ain't going to do shit. I can't say that because when Aaron Rodgers... What did they not do? Well, cause, well, listen, because when Aaron Rodgers was in his prime, in his prime prime, he was winning Super Bowls at 15-1, his division was terrible. Who was his head coach? Mike Who was McCarthy? on his defense? And uh, Charles Woodson. Uh, <laughs> you just said Mike McCarthy like that's Bill Belichick. Nigga, you got I, fired, okay. son. Not Bill Belichick, but I mean, he did he got have, fired. He did have a great team around him, a great defense around him. Look, for, uh, I'm going to finish my point. Point is, Tom Brady, not, um, bro, if you you can say if if, if all you want. I, Tom Brady is not the best thrower of the ball. He don't read. Peyton Manning could have won six rings if he was in Tom Brady. Because it like it's a bunch of quarterbacks who are just better at better at football than Tom Brady. Tom Brady uh, just won more. Now you mean to tell me I put a better player than you at your position? He wouldn't have been able to win it's, more. It's, it's That's like now it's more than that at receiver too. And you just make it seem like this because <laughs> you got talent. You can do what Jerry Rice did. Jerry Rice went for but, a thousand for four. Team but years. That's more than just being able to run, at, jump, and catch. Quarterback bro. is is decision making that goes into be, being a, being a good quarterback. So does it have wide receiver, Cam? No, you ever run the option do, route? All you gotta do is catch the ball. At the end of the day, and that's not even like, true, bro. That's if you, run, if you if you if you if you are on the talent level of one Jerry Rice, of one Randy Moss, of one Calvin Johnson, nigga. At that point, nigga, because actually athletically, Calvin and Randy are more athletic than Jerry Rice. That's a fact. So. Now, Jerry probably run better routes than both them niggas and probably got better hands than both them niggas. But at the end of the day, when you playing with Joe Montana, your whole career, half your career, the first part of your career, and then you back door and you get another Hall of Fame quarterback, no other receiver ever can say they had two back-to-back Hall of Fame quarterbacks for the vast majority of their career. If you give Tom, if you give Randy Moss, Kevin Johnson was breaking records with Matt Stafford as quarterback. Now, Matt Stafford ain't bad, but... Nigga, you give him Joe Cool and then Steve Young, it come on, bro. You're gonna have stupid Cam, numbers if you Cam, Cam, Cole like Cam, that. Cam, why why <laughs> why why won't why won't why don't this make sense to you? Joe and Steve wouldn't have been with how they That's thought right. of if it wasn't That's for Jerry it. Rice, nigga. That's why are you putting all the credit on them for I'm, I'm not how I'm about how about it's, it's, I it's made y- I made y'all into two Hall of Fame quarterbacks from throwing me the ball? How about you, that? You can what you that. mean? Y'all didn't but mess up. This is what I'm trying to this what I'm trying to explain to you, bro. Matt, when you Calvin Johnson, when you Randy Moss, when you Jerry Rice, it don't matter. When you, okay, like the D-Hop. Let's take D-Hop, for example, how D-Hop said some crazy shit the other day. And let me break this down, D-Hop. When you, your, le- when you, your skill level, D-Hop, it don't, I can throw you the ball and your ass can go out there and catch for 1,500, bro. I showed you that. That's my point. So... When you be like, oh, he had a better quarterback, that's why his numbers was better. That don't mean that, bro. Yes, it does. No, it don't because when, <laughs> when DeAndre Hopkins got a better quarterback, his numbers stayed the same, Cam. But he had three consecutive 1,000-yard receivers. Rece- Cam, he had after. three consecutive, the, the three years before he Deshaun was, got there. He was in for 1,000 two years. He was, he had, he's been in the league six years. Cam, he went for, he went for, listen, 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 Kevin. All right, let me ask you, Kevin, let me ask you this. Paul, I'm finna, let me say I can't for this here. DeAndre <laughs> Hopkins. He caught for thirteen hundred, right? He caught for fifteen hundred, and then he caught for like nine fifty, which is essentially a thousand yards, then fifty yards off, right? And then Deshaun, um, Deshaun, Deshaun Watson gets drafted, and he call, he goes for like thirteen, fifteen, and then ten, and then they say. Oh, if I would have had Deshaun the whole time, my numbers would have been better. Nigga, you was putting up them same exact numbers the three years bro, bro. before he got there. What are you talking about, bro? bro, bro. Randy different. Moss was acting a fool on the Vikings. He <laughs> was catching three catches Nigga. for 150 yards, three touchdowns on the Vikings. Chris so don't Carter. tell me, wait, pause. <laughs> so don't tell me that 
if he had Joe Mont nigga, he had whoever that fuck he was on the Vikings, bro, and he was going it's crazy. The, it's so the, it don't it's, matter. It's the consistency, though, bro. It, no, it's Jerry, his consistency. Jerry, it was Jerry's Jerry consistency. Had Joe Montana. Joe Montana had Jerry Rice. <laughs> who was number? Who was number one on the all time list? Jerry Rice. All right, but so you had me, you. nigga. I didn't have you. I, I, just, I just feel like what? if Randy would have got if Randy that's like saying LeBron James had Mario Chalmers. No, Mario Chalmers no, had LeBron not. James no, on his team. Not. Yeah, it is. No, it's not because Mario Chalmers got five rings. Jay, Joe, Joe Montana was considered to be the greatest quarterback ever before Brady came. Like that's just the, the, what, bro? You, Mario Chalmers, nigga. But what I'm saying is, <laughs> I'm saying that I'm saying this. Take Jerry Rice out of that equation. I bet he would have three Steve rings. Young or Joe Montana wouldn't be considered. And Bill the best Walsh was a great ever. coach back then, bro. I, I bet they wouldn't be the best quarterback. And they ever. had a great defense. Ronnie Lott was on their defense, I and they had the Dion, bro. Like they had a squad. They had Dion one season, Cam. Okay, still they had the nigga. <laughs> like they won a Super Bowl with him. Yeah, and then, so, yeah, regardless, they had bro, one season. Regardless, Jerry Rice was like. He, the GOAT, bro. He, he's the GOAT receiver, bro. But he, it is what it is. You keep saying. My thing is this, though, Kevin. When Cam make arguments with me, he always likes he has, to argue. He has some like, great help, bro. He, he always help. likes to argue like, if you did this, then that. Some great help, If bro. you did this and that. I'm he never saying, like to argue I exactly Randy what Moss, happened. I seen Randy Moss go to the Patriots in 2007 and be the best receiver I've ever seen. With Tom Brady. Cam, you didn't watch Jerry Rice play, so that don't have nothing to do <laughs> like, with him. That don't have, you see why they don't have nothing to do with Jerry saying, Rice? Because like, you didn't watch him. So it's not like you can say, like, I watch Jerry Rice and I watch Randy Moss, and Randy Moss is the best I ever seen. You didn't watch oh. Jerry Rice, so Randy Moss hey. being the best you ever seen, duh, nigga. Randy he's Moss the best I've best. ever seen because he's <laughs> the best that has happened in the last 20 years. Jerry I'm Rice Randy Moss better than, than that. that. I'm like Randy Moss better than Jerry Rice. You can feel like that, but he's not. Jerry Rice, and they, they had a little argument on TV, and Jerry Rice was like, check the numbers, boy. And I was like, Dude, it's not even uh, close, it's bro. It's not. No, the closest so thing it's is so, so it's nothing the else to debate. The is, is Larry, bro. It's nothing to debate. But nobody it's plays honestly, ball with him. Look, I'm going to keep it a beam. When it comes to wide receiver, bro, it's nothing to debate. It's not he's even the close. The best. Jerry the best, hands down. It's, it's not, not even. It's no down, debate bro. with nobody else, bro. And I love Randy Moss. But Randy Moss is no Jerry Rock. If if Randy Moss was what, like you said, what he did in two thousand seven for fourteen years, then then, then, he, then he could have it. Then he got it. But he didn't. So don't talk to me about what if could have would have should have happened. Had he, Joe, that's the that's why you got okay. Who fought it, Cam? Okay, right. that's like saying the only reason Michael Jordan won is because they had Phil Jackson. You can say that. Who the fuck cares? They won. <laughs> they won six. Who who like people? Make what are you talking like about? All the time reason. With, with Jordan. Look, listen, they, make that, they make the argument with Brady. Kevin, how much time we got? You know what I'm saying? About 15 minutes left. Okay. Because, listen, I, I'm going to just end it with this, bro. And you, Because you noticed the whole time you didn't even prove how Deion was the best. But all I'm going to say is that Jerry Rice is top two football players ever. Deion Sanders is top 10. Which is fucking great, by the way. We're talking <laughs> ever here. All the football players. He probably... Dion probably ranked in that seven, like Dion, five to seven range. Dion, Dion is the best cornerback ever. Yeah, but, but it's a he's not the best a, DB ever to me. Like, who the bro. best DB? To me, the best DB ever is Charles Woodson. Because he's the most versatile bro, back ever. Bro, Charles Woodson played cornerback. He played cornerback. So that what you so safety. is he the best? Is he if the he best DB? Safety, is so. he the best cornerback ever? Then no, he probably like top. He probably a top five corner. He probably a top ten safety. Like all the time. That makes him the best DB ever, though. I'm only that nigga you can put in that category. I'm keeping it a I'm keeping it a bean. I'm keeping it a bean. Ed Reed the best safety ever. Oh yeah, that's true. Period. Yeah. And, then, said, and then I'm taking Troy after him. I'm taking Ed, then I'm taking Sean Taylor, then I'm taking Troy. Sean I'm Taylor. not taking Sean over Troy. I, I'm sorry. He died too soon. That's the only thing. Well, I, I, I don't want to say nothing else. I'm my eyeballs, R. P. Sean Taylor. My eyeballs, Sean Taylor was better than that nigga. Period. <laughs> like, hey, I don't know what I bought of yours watching Troy Palomalu. Hey, I've never watched Troy Palomalu make plays and, and think, hmm, somebody better than him. Do you watch the plays this nigga Troy makes? Do you see Sean Taylor play? That nigga play cornerback. Okay, I know that. Troy can't play corner. He's not a corner. He's just he's Troy, a safety. They play the same position. So what are you saying? I'm just saying, Sean can actually legitimately go play cornerback. So, but he played was, safety just because he wanted to. That nigga was man, that nigga was a beast, bro. Yeah. He's a be, he would have been better than Airy if Airy if he if he didn't die, bro. He only thing Airy probably got him on is the brain, and he Sean would have learned that 
Like Cam, I, 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 I hate to I hate to break it to you, bro. Sean Taylor was no every. Man, if he would have stayed in the league. Kevin, you see what I mean? How it's always if he died, if, my nigga, if, he if, died, if, bro. But but I'm just died. saying, all your arguments are based on if and would have stayed the league. If and would have, man. If if we talk about a safety, man. If Randy Moss would have stayed with, we talking about a safety, man. If two hundred and twenty, oh my god, bro. Can six, we just say what happened? This nigga was six three. He was Cam Chancellor that ran a four three, bro. It says Randy Moss is in second. For touchdowns at 156. Now look how high a fucking head Jerry Rice. Jerry Rice is ahead of everybody and everything. And Jerry Rice was 197 touchdowns. Oh my god! <laughs> how do you score 50 more touchdowns than Randy Moss, Cam? Joe. You have to be the freaking truth, yeah, dude. Oh my god! You it's you're not understanding Rice, how nasty that man was. Bro. Jerry Rice is the undisputed. It's, a, it's not even a debate, bro. Said, I don't know why Cam's not like arguing with me right he's now. He's the GOAT. I'm, I'm saying he's the GOAT receiver, bro, but I can't give him the GOAT player. Well, I can. <laughs> I, can't, I can't give him the GOAT player. And for sure, I won't have a palm colored one on my GOAT list. <laughs> That's for shit show. Brady the GOAT. No. Because he, no he, he did it with too many different people. He won Super Bowls with too, I many, don't care. too many different people. I don't care, bro. No That's way in hell. Easy. No way in hell will I ever put Tom Brady as the representative. So what was Calvin Johnson's downfall? He retired. He played for four, five years. He, was just, retired. he retired. That was his downfall. And he really yeah. wasn't the. He was the he best wasn't the route league. runner. He wasn't the route runner, but he was certainly the he was most just unstoppable. The most dominant. Yeah, because they got him on the top ten list as number ten. He was unstoppable. I, okay, my top three would be eight is Marvin Harrison, and seven then, is Larry Fitzgerald. Six is Chris, Chris Carter. Carter. And then Grant is five. Man, Terrell Owens, Terrell is, Owens is number two to me. I hate to break it to y'all boys. I don't even know who this two dude is. There's Donald no way he's better than Ramos. It is a way. Terrell Owens better than Ramos? Yeah. yeah. No. No. Once again. Hey, you know what's crazy though? <laughs> a lot of people, I noticed, I noticed as I'm growing up that a lot of people have no idea how fucking cold Terrell Owens was. <laughs> and that he was, that he was better than Randy Moss, bro. bro. That and when I'm saying this, I'm not even making this up. Terrell Owens was better than Randy Moss, bro. No. He was a he was a Greek god. He was Julio twenty years before Julio got into the league. No, not better than Randy Moss. Check the numbers. I, I watched him play. I was an oh Eagles fan. God, God damn it, bro. Like <laughs> he was my nigga at a point in time. Not better than Randy. There was been no time ever when I've been like, damn. So I wish I didn't have Randy, wouldn't want Randy Moss on my team. Like, no, I'm not taking team. Randy Moss right. had three more touchdowns than him. Three? Yeah, 100. Terrell had 153 and Randy had 156. So you mean to tell me that Terrell only scored three less touchdowns than Randy Moss? And Randy Moss was a touchdown machine. Now check, now check some other numbers now. Because <laughs> if T.O. that close to him in touchdowns. T.O. played forever though. Randy played for a long time too. T.O. Randy went to ninety ball. different teams. T.O. played for a long. Oh, I time. forgot we potting, bro. Um, he had more yards. I know because he was better. No, I hate to break it to you, bro. Randy, Randy, Randy potentially top of his game could be one game could be the best receiver we've ever seen. But if we going by career wise. All of that stuff, Randy is the third best receiver ever behind T.O. and Jay Rice. It is what it is. And I'm and I'm telling you this from a place of not a fandom, a place of facts, bro. I'm a I'm a if we ask him who I like more out of all them three, it would be Randy Moss. I would put him as my favorite, but he not he just not he didn't have the career that T.O. and, and Jay Rice did, bro. T.O. was different. T.O. played for who? Um, San uh San Francisco. Who was a quarterback nigga? What the fuck is it? <laughs> that fucking matters, bro. That shit matters, my Cam, nigga. Who is who is Devontae Adams quarterback? Aaron Rodgers. Now, nigga. is he the best receiver in the league? No. So, but Aaron Rodgers is not the best quarterback in the league. But the Devontae Adams. Okay, the best quarterback in the league. Pat Mahomes. Who his best receiver? Tariq Hill. And Tariq is, he a, is he the best receiver in the league? So shut the fuck up with this stupid <laughs> ass shit that but the quarterback is gonna make the receiver the best in the league. No quarterback what? has Name the quarterback in the league right now who made their receiver the best receiver in the league. Go ahead. Name a quarterback that's ever had a best receiver in the league other than the niggas we talking about right now, nigga. Only quarterback who have had a number one best receiver in the league is fucking 
uh, Tom Brady when he had Randy Moss and Joe Montana when he had fucking Jerry Rice. Who did Aaron Rodgers have? Aaron Rodgers never so had never So wait, you mean to tell me you mean to, Paul, you mean to tell me that Jerry Rice and Randy Moss were the only two top receivers ever? That also had top quarterbacks, nigga. That's what I'm talking about. What other receiver who had a top quarterback and top receiver, nigga? Please tell me. Um, Marcus Colston and Drew Brees. Now nah, listen, looking ass. My point is, Marvin Harrison and Peyton Manning is the only other niggas you you probably you probably come up with. He wasn't the best receiver in the league at the time when he was playing. Cam, <laughs> my point is this though, Terrell Owens. You 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 yeah. like to over exaggerate, Cam. You play football a lot too. If you play receiver, bro. The quarterback can throw the ball right at your goddamn face, bro. What good does that do if you don't do your drop, get open, catch the ball, shake a nigga, go score? You giving this quarterback way too much credit for, bro, for Jerry Rice's it's success a, a and Terrell Owens' it's success. It's a 50-50 thing. Bro. No, it's not, The only bro. reason I'm saying it is because I've, it's seen, not 50/50, I've seen Cam. great receivers. Cam, it's not 50-50. About, you want to talk about career? It's not 50-50. You want to talk about career? I've seen, it's not 50, 50. I've seen great receivers with mediocre quarterbacks have a great career and never win I shit. I wouldn't say 50-50, so, but like, more like 40-60 because the receiver does have to catch the ball from the defender. He has to, like you said. I gotta, I gotta get off the line. Don't let him touch me. Figure out where I'm supposed to be on the field. Get him off me. Catch the ball. Well, that's awesome. Get off of him and score a touchdown. All you gotta do is do a fucking three step drop and get it over yeah, there. I gotta throw you the ball. Now yeah. don't make. Now, now, now wait. <laughs> now it's not. It's not easy. It's the reason get quarterback is the hardest position to play on the field, bro. In, in the NFL. Period. Oh, not really. Not really. <laughs> not really. Not in little league high school. Quarterback is pretty difficult in high school. It's, it's not tough. harder than like cornerback. You know how hard it is to hold these goddamn receivers in high school. <laughs> you play quarterback. I watched y'all. I watched y'all ass get burnt many a time. You never seen me get burnt. <laughs> I, you too. Show, show me the footage. I don't have y'all footage. All right, nigga. I don't. You I, went I, don't, to I don't walk around. around. Cena. Show me some footage of Cam getting burnt in a game other than Westfield. All right. You see, you hear that other than Westfield? I got burnt in Westfield. I, I, so I you got that. burnt. Nigga, but you act like we got burnt every game. <laughs> <laughs> that's one time. I didn't say you got that's burnt every game. game. I time. said that's a hard position to play, bro. Because yeah, most people, you just don't develop that natural talent to play cornerback at, at a young age, bro. It takes some, takes some football experience. And a lot of cornerbacks. And you played cornerback in high school, bro. Them I niggas can't play cornerback. Anyway, <laughs> point is, Jerry is different, bro. He, and T.O. is also different. If y'all After this, we're going to watch some Terrell Owens highlights. I think niggas kind of forgot that T.O. is the freaking truth. Now, let's get into this Will Smith and August. I'll say the thing before we get out of here. Uh, Cam, break it down for them boys. You know more about this shit than I did because you kind of put me on. I didn't even know. August, I'll say fuck Will Smith, bitch. <laughs> I mean, it's true. But then we'll let him do it. So technically, he didn't fuck his bitch. He just borrowed his bitch real quick. Okay, so that gets me to a deeper question, yo. How rich do you gotta be to just hand your bitch over to? There's no amount of money in the world. Me personally. But you don't got all the so money did in the it really world. Happen? Huh? August said it happened, bro. August yeah, confirmed. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And he been Why saying shit lying? like this for the longest. I'm though. not surprised. If he, like, I'm fuck. He did it to me. I'm saying he did it. Like, <laughs> where the video, video at? Looking at it. If you made you want to see the video? Yeah, I don't want to see the video. <laughs> I don't want to see it, but you know what I'm saying? That's the proof. Honestly, I'm kind of shocked that, that, that August went that route. Like, why, why Jayla? Like, you kind of, you August. I feel like you can fuck any bitch you want. Like, why? Why you feel like that? Because <laughs> he's one of them singing niggas. I feel like, like all singing niggas could fuck I'm August. I'm a singing nigga. But you ain't August I've seen the Chris Brown. What's the difference Drake. between us? Money, nigga. Mm, so he's rich? Yes. Why didn't you say that? I mean, that plays a part of being Just say you think he's cute, bro. <laughs> I didn't say it, you did. Hey, yo, uh, <laughs> my pot, uh, yo, my partner, um, <laughs> just hey, yo, cute. I got a partner name, uh, shout out my bro, P. Will, bro, this is, this is, this is other little nigga who was on the track team, he walked up to P. Will, and he was like, yo, P. Will, bro, you look like August Alcina, and everybody looked at that nigga like, nigga, that's weird, but nobody even said nothing, and, and he said, no, 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 not that I think you sexy or nothing, <laughs> Whoa, you making it worse. We didn't even say that, bro. So what you do think he's sexy then? What do you think, August sexy? What are you trying to say here, bro? <laughs> what exactly are you trying to say here, bro? I'm just saying, them, you know them singing niggas, bro. They, 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 they what? They singing they niggas. They sexy? No, bro. You saying the sexy shit. I'm just saying they some singing niggas. I'm just, I'm just, remember I said I'm taking the truth behind your words. What about, what is it about them? I know lots of Miguel, singing niggas. all these niggas is singing niggas. Uh-huh. They can all fuck hoes in my eyes. 
<laughs> because that's what they sing about. Okay. Like, you took it to the sexy route. I, ain't I didn't say that it was sexy. I was just saying, you said, August is August. I feel like he hit any girl he want. That's kind of like, like, like how males compliment each other without trying to do it. You're like, bro, he's an attractive dude. He can probably fuck most bitches. But you can't say that I because niggas like, going to no, no, no. I don't even feel like fucking hoes got anything to do with attraction. I just think it's just a... Like how you look physically. I just think it's just... Let me tell you. For niggas hoes, like that... Fucking hoes has 100% to do with attraction. For niggas like us. But for niggas like that... that they, if you got they're money, attracted you, to them still. They might be attracted to them for they're the money. They're to lifestyle, bro. They're not attracted to them specifically. But a lifestyle yeah, attracts yeah. women, though. No, that's still, You're still attractive. If you if you take a lot of pictures in the hills of different places, that makes you look more attractive because it looks like you more... Bro. That builds into you. Bro. If you get a nice car... That make you more attractive. I don't know how now, Cam. Don't get me I feel, wrong. I, feel I don't know. I, I don't understand it, but it builds into I your feel like a nigga like August or one of these famous ass singing niggas, like Lil Baby, bro. Yeah. You know how many women I see on Twitter talking about he's fine today? Now, now, let me tell you what. <laughs> I don't know what exactly you draw the line from fine nigga, but I tell you, ugly nigga, when I see one. <laughs> and Lil Baby is an ugly nigga, which ain't nothing wrong with that. Ugly niggas get bitches all the time. But one thing y'all ain't gonna try to fool me and say this is a fine nigga walking. Around here because y'all fucking up. I'm confused now. Like what the See, fuck? This nigga looks crazy where, out here. I don't know where girls draw that line for niggas. It's money. So you're right. <laughs> but my thing is though, that money makes like Lil Baby with all that jewelry. They that makes him look attractive to them. Yeah. So that's yeah, it's still attractive. It's like you know when 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 the male peacocks like show their feathers and shit. It's like that. That's some shit. Like, mm -hmm. it's, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's like that. What else you know about peacocks? <laughs> 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 Look, man, Will Smith, bro. Hey, <laughs> okay, let's really, let's really, let's really get into this. I got a few questions. Okay, you married to Jada Pinkett Smith for the longest, right? Not only did she was cheating on you from the beginning with Tupac, she probably been cheating on you with a uh, numerous of other Negroes. Probably, you know, Samuel Jackson after they <laughs> shot a low down, dirty shame. You think that nigga on some beta male shit? He's a cook. He's definitely a cook. Um, I wouldn't say beta male shit because I actually feel like you're more of an alpha male than me if your bitch ass can do some shit like that because I can't do it. Uh, I'm too weak. You way stronger than me if you can pull that off. You, I look at that shit differently, bro. Because that I don't see you as weaker shit. than me. I That's see you right. as way stronger than me. Definitely because so I'm the weak one in this situation because I, I, I would never in hell in life let my nigga like, August. What the fuck? You want to like, be <laughs> now? How did now? My thing is though. How did Jada? Like, how, how did that? she tell Will, like, yo, Will, like, yo, August. Who know. came to who about it? That's what I want to know. I who brought know. up the idea? Like, we need to find the, see if you can find something for, on that for us. Did Jada come to Will and was like, Will, like, so August. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Or did Will come up to, to Jada and was like, now nah, if that's the case. You see, you see that young bull over there? I don't Go get that. you some. I can't. I can't imagine Will would walk up to him. But, 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 like, but, but, but what August did say for sure was Will gave him his blessing. Which means that mean August and and Jada they was you know, they, messing around they probably and Will found out together. and Will was like yeah man it's cool and that sounded like Will yeah like the way he just said that hey, man, it's cool bro. yeah you feel me like yeah. hey man I, I already know and August was just like okay Will I'm just gonna go yeah, smack Jada right now well, I wonder if he walking the house what's up Will what's up bro hey you want a cool look at that <laughs> like you wanna go tag team your wife. Like, nah, you got, you got I would, I'd rather die. Definitely. But at the same time, I'm not near secure as maybe a Will Smith. But you got to think about Will Smith. He done probably fucked every girl ever he wanted to. But I feel like he probably don't. Sex probably don't mean the same to him. It's not even about the sex, bro. It, it, is, it your, is about the sex. It's your wife, my but name. it's about your so wife this, having this sex. This article here says that oh, Cena came on uh, the Breakfast Club mm -hmm. and said what he said that Will basically gave the relationship his blessing. Um, Pinkett's people said that it's absolutely not true, but supposedly Jaden is the one that introduced Alcina and Pinkett together, and they actually vacationed with each other in Hawaii in 2016, and, and attended the be, and <laughs> attended the BET Awards and together this nigga in was 2007, just saying, 2017. Before, before we got our end, bro, you got kids. <laughs> it be all kids, bro. <laughs> it be your all kids. Oh, fuck, bro. Yo, I'm going to beat my son's ass if he is out here throwing Dude, hoops. Hey, 
Hey, hey, it's August. his mom. Hey, August, bro. He, like, he claims he fell in love with Pinkett, saying, "I totally gave myself to the relationship for years of my life, and I truly and really, really deeply love and have a ton of love for her. I devoted myself to it. I gave full set to it." So much to the point that I can die right now and be okay with knowing that I truly gave myself to somebody. <laughs> so does she? Does he love Will like that? I'm You're confused. Right. How you love yeah, my I'm wife? Lost, that, that lost. Like he said, you used the word relationship now twice in that. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, okay, so this is some real shit now. So I <laughs> mean, my thing is he's saying all this, but that man said he get people is denying it. So it's like, who you believe? <laughs> This man got on here and spilled his guts. This man said that he can die now that he knowing he gave himself to somebody. That's like yeah, who, who do you believe? Romeo and Juliet type of love right there. <laughs> Hell yeah, you fucked her. And I don't believe these. Why men. would he lie about that? He went too hard to lie about that shit. We bro. talking about a nigga who can says can fuck any girl he wants. He Why would skin. he lie about it? He light skin. What that mean? Fuck that means zero to me. He be lying, bro. Light skin. That's light skin. Never mind. Oh, right, you right, can't right. you can't say light skin without lie. You're right. <laughs> but I don't know, man. I, I, they said they went to trips together. Hawaii. Man, Hawaii is a beautiful place. Because <laughs> they already on the open relationship shit. Man, that's crazy. So, Cam, you a billionaire, bro. You got a wife, but you don't really like her that much. Nah, she's not my wife, man. Mm, you're not listening. You're not listening, bro. I hate when I give you a scenario <laughs> and you try to, like, put your real self in it. Nigga, live in the scenario I build for you. But I got to put my real self no, in the scenario. No, no. No, because I need you to be in the scenario that I'm putting you in, not make it more comfortable for you so you don't have to answer the question. Mm. Nigga, listen to the scenario. You got to watch you a billionaire. You don't really like her that much, okay? Mm -hmm. You used to like her. You thought you did. She was fine, but you realized this bitch is crazy. Yeah. She's annoying, yeah. right? You got lots of money. You don't really like her. You got kids with her though, and you don't even really like them. Okay? <laughs> Boom. Fast forward 17 years. You know what I'm saying? You see your wife hanging out with this young whippersnapper making great music. You like, fuck that bitch. <laughs> I mean, I'm like, anyway, bro, go ahead, bro. I don't care. I got, I have, bro, I'm out here, bro. I understand the thought process behind that. We'll probably smack it August mama. Seeing something we probably don't know. We'll probably like, yo, yo, where the auntie at? Where the granny at? That's what I can hear. I feel what you're saying, but I just feel like, why waste all that time? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's the point? If you're just going to let her fuck somebody else, why marry her? Like, what's the point of letting this girl well, marry her last name? And and marriage might <laughs> mean something different. She kept her last name, first of all. I would die. Shit, man. Um, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, he was like, I was trying to rock with you, bro. What the fuck, man? <laughs> oh, but crazy. shit. But you usually kind of like, you know what I'm saying? Kind of keep your last name when you like rich like that and shit. Well, yeah, when well, you got a name like that. Like that. Yeah. Because Angelina Jolie, she, I don't think she yeah. was ever Angelina Pitt. Like, when your name is your name like that, you got to at least keep it kind of intact. But yeah, at the same time, next year, she, you my wife, you take my last name. Fuck that. Yeah, she's Jada Pinkett Smith, but yeah. she's still Jada Pinkett though. I feel that. Is what I'm saying. Yeah. So at the end of the day, yeah, I took your last name, but I never got rid of mine, my nigga. I can knock your shit off. He says I actually sat down with Will Smith and he had a conversation due to the transformation from their marriage to life partnership. He gave me his blessing. See, they not even. That's what I'm saying. He don't even like Jada no more, bro. That's just. We got so much shit in the same name. Just we just together. <laughs> I didn't <laughs> like you, really. I mean, well, from that perspective, then I guess it's okay. Then. But as a I, real, I wouldn't say it's okay, but it's more understandable. Yeah, it's more. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, either way, if I'm calling you my wife and everybody know you're my wife, you're not going No, hell no. You ain't gonna privately fuck motherfuckers. That's ego, though. That's ego. And the older you get, Cam, the, fuck you the older you get, the less. Well, the less you're supposed to, bro. You, the I, less you're supposed to. I have a Show that ego. I have a hierarchy, bro. My wife is up here. Is she my wife? She is up here, nigga. Like, mm -hmm. I can barely touch this motherfucker. Let alone another motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Like, this bitch is all world important. You feel me? To me, at least. So, I, that's what I'm saying. Like, I wouldn't. Yeah, but that's your ego telling you that you can't nobody touch your wife because it'll mess with your ego. That don't have absolutely nothing to do with being married. That's just literally in your, that's living in your head that, Fuck in my head, my idea of my wife can't be touched by I'm my already wife. Already as as I'm saying, ain't nothing wrong with that as long as you know that that's ego talking. There's nothing else. Well, whatever the fuck it is, I'm, in my personal world, there would be no way in the fuck I would be like, yeah, bro, you can put Is it ego talking if they both agree upon that? Upon what? Um, her pedestal. If they both can agree that this Nobody is where I want her? 
Yeah, so Cam me. and his wife agreed that I have you here at this standard. Do not fall from here. Or do not make a mistake. Yeah, that's still that's, that's 100%. What, that's, what we, that's what we talk about, you know, at the altar, my nigga. That's still 100% ego. Right. That's what we talk about. Right. Like, that's that's like, about right. that's what tyrant, about if, if, if Hitler say, you know what I'm saying, kill all Jews and everybody agrees, is it not a fucking dictator move because you agreed with it? Like, no, nigga, he's still a dictator. You just thought that was a good idea. <laughs> so, I mean, so essentially, I forgot your question, Kevin, but yes. <laughs> I, I think, just, or maybe no. I don't remember the question honestly. He was just—I mean—he was basically saying like, if, if, if. Oh, is it ego if if y'all agree? If yeah, y'all it's still agree. ego just because. For example, is it racism if you don't know it, nigga? Like, if you know what I'm saying, just because you oblivious to what's going on don't mean that it's not some bullshit. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, if is it any, if any, it's anything in the world? Is it sexist if your girl don't trip? <laughs> I mean, yeah, like it's still sexist. She just don't trip. Fuck all that. You feel me? It's yeah. like that. My future wife watching this, you're not allowed. <laughs> yeah, you, I'm not saying I just <laughs> let your like, wife have sex. I'm just saying, though, as far as like, you can call at it some ego, point, whatever the fuck you want to call at it. At some point, your wife. <laughs> can you really see Jay and Pinkett fucking with this nigga? Like, <laughs> <laughs> like the goofiest nigga ever? Bro. <laughs> Yo, we would have had to deal with shit like that for, for a long time. I was like. I just can't see it. Who, August? Yeah. Who's that, August? Yeah, that's it. That's August. Uh, that's, that's August. Right hey, Jada look good, though. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Jada look good, yeah. man. I'll tell you that. I feel August. Look, if I'm, if I'm August, oh, I'm he got, Oh, yeah, he got the hand around the waist. Oh, yeah. He, he smacked him. Yeah. He smacked him. I'm August. We're going into September. <laughs> he, he, he smacked him. Anyway, um, I put it like this, bro. I can understand it from a perspective of... Have you ever loved somebody, bro, Cam? Hmm? Have you ever loved somebody? Hmm. What are you gonna say? Just, 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 just pretend I said yes. <laughs> I think it's said what you gonna say. <laughs> I couldn't even get it out. No, what I'm trying to say is, they say when you truly love somebody, that you'll do whatever the hell it is to make them happy, and you'll put your own happiness on the side burner. I believe in that. Now, they also say some people don't believe in divorce. So maybe Will and Jada got it to where we don't believe in divorce and Will like, yo, I love you so much. I don't care. Whatever makes you happy, I'm cool with it. I'm just going to just, whatever you do, don't let this nigga go in the breakfast club and tell everybody. That's what made me mad is that this nigga has the audacity to go tell everybody that he's smacking the fresh Well, I feel like you know, because, of, because of the, the, the conversation they had beforehand. Now, what, what, what's different about, like, what made me mad is how, how Game did the shit when he was talking about Kanye. That was disrespectful to me. For him to go, for, for August to go on the breakfast club and say this shit, like, having already talked to Will and all of this shit. Like, no, that's, that's even worse, bitch-ass nigga. Why you gotta go tell the breakfast club? What does this have to do with the, the world? Game put it in the song, though. Know, like, he a He's yeah, but it's more believable when August do it. Do you even believe the game? Let me name a bitch who ever said they fucked him. <laughs> That'd be my thing. Niggas always name drop. Ain't nobody name dropping you the game. <laughs> the Is game. that what we call you anyway? What do we call you? The game. Christopher. Yeah, fuck out of here, bro. Nobody saying, yo, hit the game last night. It was cool. <laughs> Nobody ever yeah, said that. Yeah, you're right. You're right. It's way more believable when you actually sit down and be like, nah, well, now when you like, sit down and, and say it, put glasses on this shit. Yeah, and be like, <laughs> yo, and then say her husband said it was cool. That remind me of some freaky shit I seen on Hulu last year, where the husband infiltrated the whole family, was trying to molest the daughter, end up having sex with the wife, and end up letting the husband beat his meat in the car. I know yeah, I heard about. that I know right. What you're about. You, you know, know what I'm talking about. about. Some it's crazy it's shit. Right? Yeah, Kevin, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you yeah, seen that? that? This man is. infiltrated the whole family yeah. and was sleeping with the daughter, the wife, bro, and the daddy. And these niggas was on the TV talking and they about was all, And the daddy's like, in there crying like, bro, the nigga was like, I've had better days. <laughs> the nigga was like, yeah, he let the nigga take him off in the car, bro. He was like, I ain't gonna lie, I let the nigga. I was like, how did y'all let this nigga finesse y'all like this? Like, no, he jacked Daddy jacked him off. Yeah. He said, I jacked him off until he nutted in the in my don't, hand. No cap. Like, he, he said this out his mouth on the TV. Like, Meanwhile, I, he's fucking my wife and, and my daughter. And my daughter, like, and he, didn't he kidnap her or something? Yeah. Yeah. Like <laughs> And my wife, my wife is in love with him. Like she want to leave me for him. But damn, yeah, my wife want to leave me for him. But here I am beating his meat. Yo, what type? 
Yeah, yo, that's where's your self esteem, yo? Wild, that's when you need your ego, man. That's, that's when you need your ego, yo. You got to kill, cuz, right there. I mean, my thing is, bro, you like him too. <laughs> <laughs> you understand, right? Like, yeah. You like shit. The nigga really <laughs> got Smooth as hell, though. Shit, I said we were just in the car. Let me tell you. Like, he likes it. You want to move in? Nice. Like, like, my what? daughter loves him? Oh, no, that's too far. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> Let's see, bro. <laughs> that shit wild. RIP to somebody. RIP to everybody, man. I don't want to sound like that. Somebody, I know, I know a couple people passed since we've been here. I can't. I don't. I can't just put my finger on them. RIP everybody, man. Um, hey, listen. Let me tell you y'all something that I was telling Cam earlier. You can plant plants and kill ants, but you can't play God. And that's a bar that's coming in 2021 on my mixtape. Um, download that. It's called Sticks in Them. Um, I'm gonna have background vocals from these two buffoons, and hopefully, I can get my other two background dancers from last week to hop in and be and do some vocals too uh y'all don't know them two background dancers it's more of an inside joke but anyway all right um can have anything else to say no 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 bro all, all right, right. Did you have press press the red button <laughs>